Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Deepthi and we are back with yet another session of Ask the Mentors. So, you know, um, these were a couple of sessions that we said we will be available, uh, you know, to directly talk with these students, uh, to answer their queries, uh, you know, whatever the query could be. So today I have with me live Dr. Ravneet Kaur. Hi Ravneet, uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Why don't you introduce yourself Ravneet? Thank you, ma'am. It's a pleasure for me too. Uh, I am Ravneet, the third year MBB student from Lady Harding Medical College, New Delhi. Okay. So I'm from 2019 batch and like our whole curriculum has been online only. Uh, so I was finding it difficult to uh, integrate the concepts and uh, practice uh, my uh, questions for my uh, next preparation. So I joined the integ integrated curriculum batch by DAM. So I wanted mm -hmm. to ask that how will this uh, integrated curriculum approach help me in my studies? Right. So first of all, it's such a pleasure to meet you. And ask me why I'm talking again. Because I'm also a Hardonian. So it's always good to interact with Hardonians. You know, it brings back so many fond memories to me. And, uh, you know, it, it's just so great to connect with you. Okay, so Ravneet, um, you're a, a currently a third year student, am I right? I just uh, gave my second year course. Okay, so you're going to enter third year. Yes. That's, that's great. And uh, Toto, I think that's a very, very relevant question you asked, that how is integrated regular, uh, you know, going to help you? So. Um, let me let me just first tell you what integrated regular is, Ravneet, and then maybe you know you feel like asking something more or uh, something that you face as a problem. So integrated regular ka kya concepts hai? That in medical science, you know, if you realize that in college how you are doing is ki you were reading anatomy of heart in the first year, hai na? and then you are supposed to remember it all by yourself. Then you come to the, you know, uh, second year and you will read about the pharmacology. Yes. And then somewhere in your third final, which is actually your fourth year, you will actually do cardiac, uh, you know, system uh, in medical, uh, in medicine. So Jahape, you will have to directly talk about patient presentations and treatment and so on and so forth. So agar aap is, is ek system ko dekho, this system was merely created to uh, make it easy to teach yes but if you reality mein dekhoge, when you are going to deal with patients and similarly when you're going to give exams then you will have to sort of connect the dots and you have to have a 360 degree perspective of that particular uh, you know organ system that we are talking about so this is what we did at dams because uh, we thought that this is kind of a system which will help the child to connect the dots, number one. Second, learn the application. And number three is ki aisa nahi hai ki anatomy humne mein first year mein kalia aur abham, you know, you've completely forgotten and you have to go back to scratch and read all of it. it Jabki humara man nahi karta hai, right? Final year mein hum final year ke subjects padhe ya puri anatomy padhe. So then we thought that it should be the way it is all over the world. So agar aap USMLE bhi dekho ge, uh, it is a system-based approach. So, hum log kya karte hai? for example, in integrated regular course, what is going to happen is, let's say you will begin with a um, cardiovascular system in, uh, in medicine. Yes. So, usme kya hoga? the first class would be medicine, clinical science. Makar uske hi next day, the anatomy teacher will come and teach you or talk to you about the cardiac anatomy. And then similarly, we will do cardiac physiology. Right? So, that you did in the first year, you're going to sort of revise it in a very, very applied manner. And you're going to break bigger subjects into smaller parts. Not just that, it will give you an entire 360 degree perspective. Just say, Mujhe batao, Ravneet. Uh, you remember when we had the first year mein wo CNS ke tracts. Padhe the. You remember? And we had to make a cut section. Bhi aate the, hai na? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember that? Like somewhat. Hai na? So only somewhat, because you are losing connect with it. But when you will go to your fourth year and when you will see a patient of stroke or, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's say a spinal injury patient or something like that, then this is the time when you really need to get back to those tracks again. Ki pe lesion hoga? This is why the patient is presenting like that. 
right so this is the entire concept so we'll do neuro with you we'll do neuro anatomy with the with you we'll do neuro physiology we'll do neuro pharmacology so hum a 360 degree perspective leke us cheez ko padhenge usse jaise maine bola multiple benefits hain so not only are you actively reading your you know final year subjects you are going back and revising bit by bit not all in one go pharma is vast physio is vast anatomy is vast so you are doing it bit by bit and you are doing it in a clinically applied manner which is also the new pattern of exams bit agar aapne dekho the pattern of exams is now changing yes from more factual to more application based with short history right patient presentation then they are asking you maybe the question is still for pharmacology magar uska puchne ka tarika is going to be completely different so this is what we we have launched as integrated regular course right we are covering all 19 subjects but you will be connecting the dots and i i assure you ki aapko bahut hi confidence ka feeling aayega jab aap wards mein patients bhi dekhna shuru karoge and the same confidence you'll actually get when you start practicing mcqs also right especially the short clinical mcqs that you are supposed to know so that is the entire idea behind integrated regular bache did you get a good perspective on what it is yes ma'am i understood it Great. so like uh, this curriculum was uh, announced uh, by the uh, like uh, the next is going to happen so like we are still unsure whether our batch is going to give next or not like i'm from 2019 batch right so is this curriculum still apply, uh, like advantages yes, so that is that is a wonderful question again i must say ravni bahut hi logical cheeze puch rahi hai because you know i i understand your dilemma you're entering into third year and you want to have a road map which is clear cut and you know what you are doing so ravni pehli baat to bache ki as far as next is concerned to next hoga zarur but yet yes kaun se batch se they will apply it that is as of now i'm sure और अगर आपने लेटेस्ट बात सुना हो नेक्स्ट का सो अर्लियर दे सेड कि नेक्स्ट के दो भाग होंगे नेक्स्ट वन एंड नेक्स्ट टू बट नाउ दे दे इवन थ्री पार्ट्स फॉर एग्जांपल नेक्स्ट वन माइट हैपन आफ्टर योर सेकंड ईयर देन देयर विल बी अनदर नेक्स्ट टू आफ्टर योर थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ईयर एंड देन अनदर वन आफ्टर योर इंटर्नशिप एज वेल सो इट इज डेफिनेटली देयर इन द रोड मैप बट यस एग्जैक्टली व्हिच ईयर स्टूडेंट्स वुड हैव टू अपीयर फॉर इट इज क्वाइट अनश्योर now to answer your query specifically agar ye unsure hai to kya is it still beneficial to do the integrated regular so number one there are three reasons why i would say definitely yes okay so first reason the first reason is you know about how uncertain this government is when they have to introduce things right so they might just start something even at midnight i'm sure you you know those kind of decisions have come up so the government is very very uh you know um uh if they are clear they have to bring it they will they might just bring it any one fine day so agar wo aana hi hai why not prepare yourself right from the beginning nahi to kya hota hai na if exam change pattern is announced close to the exam then you students lose confidence isn't it to hame dar lagta hai are humne to aise padha hi nahi ab ab suddenly main kaise how to adapt myself राइट सो इट इज ऑलवेज बेनिफिशियल कि अगर कोई चीज अनाउंस हो रही है देर आर सो मेनी सिग्नल गिवन बाई दी गवर्नमेंट ओवर लास्ट टू थ्री इयर्स दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू हैपन सो यू नो यू शुड टेक दी सटल सिग्नल्स एंड प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ बोथ मेंटली दैट येस दिस इज गोइंग टू हैपन सो लेट मी स्टडी राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग इन द पैटर्न द वे इट इज लाइकली गोइंग टू हैपन येस सेकेंड even if it doesn't happen for your batch is it beneficial yes so why i would say the second reason is ravneet kya aapne realize kiya hai that in a batch yes there are a lot of students who might study from the same faculty yes they may study the same notes but do you realize that they perform differently yes or no yes ma'am yes so agar aap dekhoge this is an approach which the toppers actually follow right uh, when there was no such announcement for next you know this today only me and dr sumer were talking to some students and we were telling them ki toppers jo hote hai na wo shuru se aise padhte hain magar wo karte kya the because it was being taught to them in segments in different professional years so wo aapko chit pads pata hai wo stick ons yes ma'am right so what toppers used to do is ki uh, in their anatomy copy 
they will put a stick on on where neurology is similarly in their physio copy they'll put a stick on where uh, neurophysiology is and similarly they would once they reach medicine tab wo kya karte hain they will not only read medicine but at the same time they will go back to those stick ons jo unhone tab banaye the and now they will again together read neuroanatomy neurophysiology neuropharmacology and get a 360 per degree perspective so this is a pattern which is a very very well established pattern and it because you know ye ek student ko uh, it makes them think when they are approaching the subject it's not only memory based na so definitely medicine ya medical science is something which has uh, parts which are very very memory based but if you attach logic to them if you attach a why to them if you attach the physiology behind them things become much more simpler to grasp you have a very clear understanding so ek topper bacche mein or you know i would say mediocre ya somebody who is not able to come at the top mein yahi farak hai on how you are actually studying things so i would say next or no next this is the way forward right and believe me as far as next is concerned they are uh, uh, mimicking the exam pattern of uh, us as well so wahan pe bhi aap dekhoge aaj se nahi bahut time pehle se um uh, even when it is part 1 exam even if they have to ask pathology it will start with a clinical presentation and then finally the question will be of pathology so isliye this is a well established pattern when you want to make a difference in the exams when you want to make a difference as an individual and when you want to do well as you know as a doctor as well aapne dekha hai na beta har tarah ke doctors hain there are superlative doctors also so wo agar hame wo excellence chahiye hamari ya to clinical practice mein ya exam mein we need a 360 degree perspective so this approach will help you do that it will help you do subjects in a broken way so that you are able to hold grasp onto one system in a clear way you are able to apply your concepts and that is why you will do well in the exams right tisra mera reason ye hai ki i would still say this should be the way forward because even in the current pattern neat so man lo you know we are uncertain about next agar aapne over last 2 years if you go through neat papers they are gradually already exposing you to the next pattern पहले के नीट में और आपके नीट में बहुत फर्क है इनिशियली द नीट पी जी एग्जाम वॉज मोर ऑफ अ रिकॉल बेस्ड एग्जाम मोर ऑफ अ मेमरी बेस्ड एग्जाम विद लॉट ऑफ वैल्यूज विद लॉट ऑफ वन लाइनर्स नाउ दैट रेशियो हैज एक्चुअली रिवर्स इट्स इट्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑन एटी टू नाइनटी टू ट्वेंटी टेन रेशियो यू स्टिल हैव सम वन लाइनर्स यू स्टिल हैव सम फैक्ट्स बट दे आर क्लिनिकली इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स द रेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन even if they are small short two line questions they have application they have concept where you know majority of times um you know uh, two subjects would be integrated isliye it's very interesting to know when you go and see the recall videos on e medicos app for the neat pg exam aap dekhoge wo same question micro wale sir bhi padha rahe hain wo same question path wale sir bhi padha rahe hain aur wo same question medicine walon ne bhi bata diya so one question was we discussed by all the three faculties why because you know this segregation is no longer there ki ye path ka question hai ya ye microbiology ka hai right so you have to learn that this is the way forward so no matter what the exam is if you want to be ready if you want to be confident and if you don't want to leave things to destiny then let's let's take these science and let's do it the way it is going to be uh you know the way forward for your upcoming exams so i think uh ravneet you have understood all the three reasons that i gave with why integrated regular is the way forward forward yes ma'am yes so have i have i satisfied your doubts yes, yes ma'am great aur batao beta ma'am so the last thing is this that it is evident that uh, next is try uh, like becoming like usml exams so yes. as it it also has three uh, steps so uh, like will this integrated curriculum approach help in preparing for usmle or like vice versa will the uh, question banks of usmle or the materials for usmle will help in next 
Okay, great. So I must say, uh, Ravni, what prepare okay, yeah, that she's going to fire all tough questions on me. But yes, let me answer your query, Beta. So um, I would say yes, the pattern of the exam is quite like US Emily, but yet different from it. Why I say the pattern is similar but different? The similarity I've already told you. The similarity is integration. So I have hint bhi diya tha shuru mein jab main bata rahi thi that US Emily mein they, every subject ka question, whether it is a preclinical or a paraclinical, it will start with a clinical presentation. Now coming to will NEET preparation for NEET or next PG help in US Emily? Yes. Okay. But is VC versa going to hold true? No. Now let me tell you why. If you go through the USMLE question banks, their way of asking questions is very different. They have extremely long history-based questions. They give you long lab data as well for the patients. So they'll give you the path uh, details. They'll give you some, uh, you know, CBC. They'll give you peripheral smear. They'll give you all the lab investigations that you need in a particular question. So those are really long questions. Hamare NEET PG exam is, I would say, at a much difficult level. Here you're supposed to know those things. They don't give you so much information in the MCQs. They are indirectly applied, but they are definitely shorter versions. So I would not say that you should use USMLE banks. It will, it will, uh, you know, sort of uh, limit you to certain parameters. Ulta karna chahiye. Always go study for something which is more broad and then it will definitely help you if you want to give your USMLE step one or step two as well. Yes, so uh, similarity hai, integrated approach, but the way of asking questions is very different. So NEET may a uh, lot long questions, nahi aate hai, right? We still have to see what happens in next. But as I said, I've already shown you uh, some trailers of what the questions are going to be. So they are short history based questions and they're integrated approach. Yes, so definitely, if you NEET ke liye, uh, prepare Kareo, and this is the right time. You should think about, you know, if you want to go to US as well, then this course would definitely, definitely be helpful. And in fact, it will give you an advantage or an edge over the others, just subject wise. Right? Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, Rapneet. Or Kuch Pita, anything else that you want to ask? No, ma'am. It cleared all my doubts. It cleared your doubts? Yes. Great. And, um, uh, I will that maybe when you are doing integrated regular, you think notes kaise banane hai. So you can follow both the approaches. For example, you can uh, you know, take uh, loose sheets and uh, do cardiac uh, medicine part first. And in this, then you can add sheets for cardiac pharma, cardiac physio, cardiac anatomy. Or you can make subject-wise notes, but again, when you read, they call class to hum integrated hi lenge. So you will also attend integrated. But when you read by yourself, you should also do the same pattern of revision. So so that it helps you, right? Okay, ma'am. And uh, keep practicing questions. Your uh, e-medicos has all sorts of MCQs. They have clinical vignettes, both long and short types. Uh, and you know, all other patterns that are required. For example, INI CT ke liye, you need some match the following questions, uh, you know, multiple completion type, those type of questions are also available. So it's a one step, you know, one stop for all kinds of questions that you can practice. So don't worry about the name of the if you have your content right, agar aapne ek bar integrated regular achhe se padh liya hai, you've got your concept. Yes, and if you are um, able to apply it, believe me, uske baad na, the name of the exam will not really bother you a lot, whether it is called as INICT or NEET or NEXT. So, shuru se hi tayari, agar hum, you know, if it's on the right track, if we have the right material, you really don't have to worry about the pattern. And that is what our goal at DAMS is, right? So that you, with the changes, you don't get unnerved and you don't get worried about it. Right, Ravni? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Vita, it was such a pleasure. If you have to ask anything else, I'm still here. Until unless I've satisfied you and then maybe we can say goodbye. Ma'am, all my doubts are cleared and I would like to say a thing that I have been, uh, like I have subscribed to DAM since like first year since the lockdown happened. Okay. And it has helped me a lot. So like mm -hmm. I, uh, although I've attended all the classes online, but I really want to meet all the teachers and 
बच्चे हमने दिल्ली में वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड फेस टू फेस क्लासेस सो यू शुड स्टार्ट कमिंग एंड आज भी हम वी हैव मेट सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इट्स इट्स ऑल टुगेदर अ डिफरेंट लेवल व्हेन यू आर देयर एंड यू आर एबल टू यू नो रिस्पॉन्ड एंड सी ईच अदर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अ स्टूडेंट्स बॉडी लैंग्वेज कब उसको समझ में आया कब नहीं आया व्हाट पॉइंट्स नीड री एनफोर्समेंट सो दे टेक द क्लास टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल वी आर इक्वली एक्साइटेड एंड ईगर टू मीट यू ऑल इन द क्लासेस यस मैम चलो रवनीत गॉड ब्लेस यू इट वाज एब्सोल्यूट प्लेजर एंड आई विल से कि रवनीत डरने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है इफ यू आर कंसिस्टेंट राइट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग यू नो कंसिस्टेंटली पढ़ोगे तो इट इज गुड इनफ यू डोंट हैव टू स्पेंड 12 12 आवर्स just ensure that you are there doing something or the other consistently so 3 se 4 ghante bhi agar hum roz ke nikalenge so i i i assure you ki you will be able to do really really well so consistency is the key right content is the key and we are here to show you the direction thank you so much okay bacha take care thank you bye 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 thank you